Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be painting my calipers red so it'll match the interior and the exterior of the car. The paint I'm going to be using is called G2 caliper paint and is specially formulated for painting calipers. The paint I'm going to be using, as I said, is G2 caliper paint and it's a complete kit. It comes with a brake cleaner so you can clean, so you gotta be sure that you have a clean surface before you start. The paint the reactor which this is an epoxy paint so it's resistant to 950 degrees Fahrenheit and then the brush this is uh, applied using the brush it's not a, a spray can or, or anything like that so the removal of calipers is not necessary it's it's a pretty simple process uh, I'll go step by step first I'm gonna Raise the, raise the car, put it on jack stands, and take the wheels off. Okay. One thing I want to point out as I'm jacking up the car and sitting on jack stands, I want to point this out real quick. This uh, area right here is where the, jack where the jack stand needs to go because they got this little cutout right here. That's where it was meant to sit down. That way you don't accidentally put your car anywhere else and damage the fender or anything. Okay, so I got all the wheels off and I got the, all the calipers cleaned up with the, with the brake cleaner and a rag. You want to be sure it's really clean. I went ahead and covered the bleeder screw and, and the brake pad just to be sure I don't get any paint on them. And uh, you want to be sure you got everything set up before, before you open the, uh, the can and mix the, the paint because once it mixes, you got to start start working and once you open it you only got about four hours to work so you want to be sure you got everything ready and I'm actually gonna mix half of it at a time just so just so I don't have to rush through anything all right well now it's time to start painting here we have the the finished product it's actually the next day after it has dried up and uh, I'm really satisfied with the way with the way it turned out. I noticed that if I look at it from really close I can kind of see a little bit of the brush markings but if I look at it from far away from standing up you can't you can't even tell. So what I did is uh, five coats. It, overall it took me about two hours to do them all. What I did is I started on one side and went around the car and by the time I came around one side was already dry because you gotta wait 15 minutes before each coat and I did and I kept going around the car until I had done five coats. If you get the if you get any paint on the calipers after you get done you can always scrape it off with a screwdriver it's no big deal it comes off. I had the Glitter screw taped up and what you want to do is before you take the tape off you kind of want to get a knife and go around it that way you don't peel any of the paint off as you take as you take the tape I noticed this paint if you get it on your hands is really hard to come off so I'd recommend you you use gloves I only ended up using about 70% of the paint. I saved some of it in case I need to touch up anything later. I ended up mixing it in another container. That way I could use it at a later time in case I get a chip or something. Okay, so now before I put the wheels back on, I'm going to put the Corvette stickers like the original. There we go.
All right, so there it is. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. And uh, thanks for watching.